what do you perceive when you see me walk? What do you perceive when you hear me talk? What's wrong with your daughter? Those are the first words I ever remember hearing someone ask my mom about me when I was a little girl. I wonder what that woman thought when she saw us walking. Fast forward to the present, and I can still see the restaurant manager yelling, grabbing me, shoving me out the door, and sending a security guard to block my re-entrance. A week earlier, that same manager gave me a dirty look when I ordered something to go. I found out during the lawsuit that followed, he thought I was drunk. I wasn't. I just wanted to tie tea before I went to rehearsal that night, where I was cast as Olga Sergeyevina Prozorova, the oldest daughter in a production of Anton Chekhov's Three Sisters. A side note, I won that lawsuit. My name is Diana Elizabeth Jordan. I am an award-winning actor, award-nominated director, solo artist, disability, and idea influencer. I was the first actor to get a Master of Fine Arts in acting from Cal State Long Beach, and I run my own business. I am a black woman with natural hair wearing a teal blue dress. Now, some of you may be wondering why I just described what I look like and what I'm wearing. If you dare, please raise your hands. You all get new cars! <laughs> just kidding. I know that a lot of you can see what I look like and what I'm wearing, but as a disability and idea influencer, I know that one out of four people in America have some type of disability. I'm aware there may be people in the audience who are blind or have no vision. So I wanted to remove a potential barrier to create inclusion and equity for everyone. I have cerebral palsy, which mildly affects my speech and gait. It's one of my many identities. In addition to being an activist and Mark, I have been the artist. I'm a daughter, a friend, the aunt of the two most adorable boys in the universe, and that is not lying. My mom has said my nephews are the two most adorable boys in the universe, so there is proof, and I'm a sushi lover. My disability is not something I've ever felt the need to overcome any more than I would want to overcome being black or being a woman. I am proud of my multiple identities and intersections. I have an amazing family and friends. I love my life, and I'm living out my childhood dream of being an actor. I've been told by potential agents and cast and directors how unrealistic my career goals were. I've been had well-intentioned people talk to me about how brave I was or how I needed to be healed. I've been excluded, otherwise doubted and demeaned. It's been an incredibly rocky, frustrating, and painful journey at times. But it is moving beyond the limiting perceptions that people have had of me, both personally and professionally, that fuels and takes my passion with disability, activism, transforming perceptions, social justice, and change. Our theme today is This Is Us, an exploration of how we can build communities of diversity equity, inclusion, and belonging. But to have true diversity, equity, and inclusion and belonging, we need to be thinking about the potential barriers that might prevent disabled 
and that community from truly participating, fully participating. Many barriers that impact deaf and disabled communities aren't even seen as barriers because they're such a natural and normalized part of our culture. Conversations about ability privilege are, are, are more challenging because unlike race or gender privilege, ability privilege is rarely talked about or even recognized. Stairs or a doorknob may not seem like a privilege, but it becomes a privilege if people with mobility differences don't have access to them. My friend, disabled activist and playwright Mike Urban once said, it isn't my disability that keeps me from voting. It's the inaccessible polling place. And I remember a costume designer becoming frustrated with me because I couldn't wear the high-heeled shoes she wanted me to wear. Shoes may not seem like a big deal, but for someone like me who has balance issues, shoes, the type of shoes I wear, impact how safe I feel walking in them. For equity and inclusion to have impact, we must move beyond the perception that one side fits or works for all. And while it may seem challenging to get rid of some of the pre-existing architectural barriers that exist in many of our communities, being intentional about having closed captioning for Zoom meetings and webinars, having ASL interpreters, doing a visual description like I did earlier in my presentation, being aware of the lighting and sounding in a room, and planning events at wheelchair accessible buildings, or having a portable ramp are just a few ways we can move beyond barriers to create equity and inclusion for all. Even with the best of intentions, the journey to creating a barrier-free, this is us, community can feel daunting. A seemingly harmless statement like, we're all created equal, may be said with good intention, but the impact so different for those of us from historically marginalized communities. But our past doesn't have to define our future. We can learn from it, let us shape us and move us forward. I believe that when we listen, understand, validate, and show empathy, an acronym I created called the power of blue, we can gain new knowledge, and through new knowledge, powerful changes can manifest. So I offer today for consideration the power of love. Listen, understand, validate, and show empathy as a transformative and actionable tool for all of us who are committed to learning from experiences that are different from our own, building bridges to connect us, and creating safer spaces to have thoughtful and heart-provoking conversations about moving beyond the barriers of ableism, racism, homophobia, and other limiting beliefs to create inclusion and equity and lasting and sustainable change. Don't limit yourselves with other people's misperceptions of you. Don't limit others with their initial thoughts and perception of them. So, what do you think when you see me walk? What do you think when you hear me talk? What do you think you can do to make a difference and create community, create this is us. From my heart to yours, I thank you.